What's up guys, Kevin here, back with another video. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about the best sneaker deals for this holiday season. Uh, so I broke it up into three different categories. It's gonna be budget, where it's gonna be under $100, average, which it's gonna be under $250, and then splurge, which is over 250 to infinity. So I, I thought this would be a great, uh, either a gift guide for somebody that you know who likes sneakers or a great guide for if you want to get yourself something really nice at an affordable decent price um, a lot of retailers are doing their sales right now if you order i think within this week that you should be able to get it confirmed by christmas so i think there's a lot of terrific deals going on as well as just in general in terms of the whole sneaker marketplace it's completely different from how it was a year or two years ago where uh, the crazy inflated prices of the pandemic are basically over and if you are a big fan of sneakers themselves this is a wonderful time for you if you are a fan of just the resale aspect of it you're probably shitting bricks like literally you got so many bricks on your hands that you can't sell or anything like that so it's a great time to be in the buyer side of it also, just a quick note, I'm gonna be putting all of the items in the description down below with links. This is not sponsored. I just spent some time doing some research on what I think would be the best sneaker deals for you guys. So, talking about the budget, the first one to talk about is the Adidas Rivalry 86 Low 003 for $68. I think this is a terrific alternative to the Fear of God collection where uh, this is under $100 and it has that same minimal neutral sort of sort of color palette and you're able to style this in so many different ways. Also, the rivalry is a little bit different from your generic sort of um, Adidas shoes. Instead of just buying like Sambas or Stan Smiths or Superstars, you can kind of go into their basketball, their, their uh, like retro basketball area and pick up a pair of rivalry. So next up is the New Balance ML 610 TBE. So I think the 610 is such an interesting new silhouette where it's sort of a fusion between a retro runner and a sort of hiking gorpcore esque uh, sort of shoe. I think this will fit perfectly in a lot of uh, like people's wardrobes. And also for $74, I think it's a pretty fantastic deal, especially since you can essentially wear this for multiple different occasions. Like you can wear it casually, you can even wear it while hiking, etc. So I think this will be a perfect versatile shoe. Next up is the Air Max One Crep Brown from 2022. That's actually available on StockX for $70. I think that's a fantastic deal because it is sort of a retro of a early 2000s Air Max One with the crepe bottom. I've see, seen them in person and I think it's a good quality pair of Air Max Ones. There's a lot of Air Max Ones that are on sale and they're all super fantastic. Next up is the Adidas Tishan Low for $63 and this is actually available on Adidas's website. So uh, the Tishan or Tishan, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, is a great skateboarding model that can duel as a lifestyle model. There's so many different colorways available and it's sort of like a low mid top shoe. Uh, I think the silhouette is super, super clean as well as the toe box. It just swoops down perfectly. If you don't want to spend $200 on the 86 low from Fear of God, you can pick up this in like a neutral tan color and I think it'll fit perfectly. Next up is kind of a different one. It's the Hoka Clifton LS, which stands for the lifestyle model. Uh, it's available for $96. I think that is a great deal, especially because the LS Hoka Clifton is a super, super comfortable shoe. Um, it can duel as a sort of gore core hiking shoe as well as just a casual walking running shoe. There's a lot of cushion in there and Hoka's are known to be super, super comfortable. Also the color palette, there's two different colors. The one that I put in the description is the, is the sort of clay version. There's also a cream version as well. Uh, so please do check that out. So next up is the Puma Suede Vintage Pink, black and white, as well as the Puma Clyde Teasel in a set it gray and cashew. Uh, the pink and white and black one is for $45 and the cashew one is for 65. 
I think Puma is an incredibly slept on brand. They have iconic models like the Puma Slide and I think they are fantastic. They're a great alternative to the Sambo. So without going too, I guess, generic, the Clyde is a very clean silhouette, very low profile. It can easily be rotated like in and out and also a great alternative for that uh, like Gucci Gazelle that came out. Next up is the Merrill Reese Cooper Hydro Runner. So this is a sort of foam shoe-esque where it has an inside sort of knitted booty. Um, I think it is a cool looking shoe, a cool looking, I guess, like foam runner in a weird way where it does take inspiration from the foam runner but makes it a little bit more utilitarian where it is perfectly fine in water as well as you can kind of wear it as like a normal shoe because it's not fully exposed. Next up is the New Balance ML 860 XD white and black. That one is going for $99. Uh, I think that is a perfect shoe that encapsulates that sort of like retro runner vibe where it is that patent leather, that really shiny patent leather, white and black, super, super simple. Throw on a pair of black trousers or a pair of light wash jeans and you are gonna be looking killer. New Balance is also extremely comfortable, so no matter the situation, if you throw on a pair of New Balances, I think you'll be perfectly fine standing, walking all day. Next up is the Air Max One Premium Urawa. So the Air Max One Urawa is inspired by the Japanese football slash soccer club. Uh, they had an earlier release from the early 2000s with an all red upper. Uh, like this one is predominantly gray, but I really like the mesh that they use. And it's such a clean silhouette as well as it kind of has that special touch to it, right? Where it kind of makes it unique in a way instead of just getting a black and white sort of Air Max 1. And last but not least, it is the Adidas Terex Free Hiker 2 for $77 on Adidas. Uh, so on Adidas, they have so many different colors available of this Free Hiker 2. I think the Free Hiker 2 is a interesting silhouette where it is a high top hiking shoe that has boost that makes it comfortable, but is also very, very durable. So for those of you who like to hike or that like to go out there, or for those of you who just like the utilitarian aspect of these shoes, I think this is a perfect shoe. They also have a collaboration with Ann Wander, which is a Japanese sort of hiking outdoors brand. And those colorways look super, super nice as well. You can even find them uh, like discounted on secondhand on eBay and such. So for the next category, it is gonna be the average. Before I get too far, I want a little bit of coffee going. Also, if you guys are wondering what I'm cooking, I'm cooking some oxtail. That's just gonna be so fire. Anyways, next up, going on to average, under $250. So this price range is sort of like, either you're getting yourself a pair of sneakers for the holidays or getting somebody that you're really close to a pair of sneakers because this price range is probably the most fun because there are so many different options and so many different avenues that you can go down. Um, but it also gets kind of expensive because it's right around that 250 range. The $100 range is sort of getting somebody like a pair of shoes for them to wear or, you know, your nephew or your cousin or something, you know, like somebody that you're like close to, but like not super, super close to, you know what I'm saying? So like this one is somebody that you're pretty close to and then you want to get them something like kind of nice. So the Air Max One Premium Slate in blue and the lemon wash. Uh, this one actually was reselling when it first came out, which I think is interesting because now it's $105. Uh, like this one is an Air Max One again, but has that sort of like denim wash on the upper and I think it looks super, super fantastic. I think it is a unique pair of shoes and the more you wear it, the more distressed it'll get and kind of give it that Japanese like wabi-sabi sort of vibe. I think with this light wash sort of shoe, you can pair it with dark pants and I think that contrast is gonna go crazy. Next up is the New Balance 990 V6 Cream and the style code is M990SS6 and this is for $170. So the 990 V6 is a silhouette that just released and the cream silhouette I think is the cleanest, cleanest that uh, like Teddy Santes, who is the creative director of New Balance, uh, like Made in USA has made. It is such a cream, clean, minimalist shoe. Uh, you can wear this all year round and I know that some people are a little bit iffy on getting you know, like white shoes, dirty, but this one's kind of like a creamish brown, so you won't have to really worry about that all that much, but I think it's super, super clean. 
absolutely like. And also the 990 V6 is a pretty comfortable ride because it has that fuel cell foam. So that's what they use in their running, their modern running marathon shoes. So it'll definitely provide an all day comfort and also the walking comfort as well. Next up is the Gel Quantum Kinetic in Birch for 197 on Slam Jam. 197 is kind of in the higher tier of this price range, but the Gel Quantum is a new silhouette. Also, it's extremely comfortable. Like Kiko Kostadanov, who is the creative director of ASICS, I feel like I'm just name dropping a bunch of people, but the Birch colorway is again, another one of those like clean silhouettes where you want to have that retro runner, but this kind of takes it tweaks it a little bit and kind of makes it like that next level kind of like an elevation from like your normal uh like vomero or uh your normal sort of like retro runner next up is the roa neil boots for 165. roa is an italian boot footwear maker and they've made some great boots and shoes lately uh they are all lugged super super heavy where you can kind of use these as really like hiking shoes but also know that they are street ready because their silhouettes are all very very clean and this i personally i think this is a terrific deal just because their shoes will definitely last you multiple multiple seasons multiple years because they're all like vibram sold and i believe all a, a lot of them i think almost all of them are uh like good year lasted so they're kind of folded in on themselves so you won't have to necessarily worry about things ripping apart or anything like that. Also, their materials are quite nice and I believe they're made in Italy for the most part. Next up is the Ambush Air Adjust Force uh, for 111. So there's three colorways and I personally like uh, the colorway that has the blue suede on the outside and the red lining on the inside. Um, I know that that colorway has been popularized by the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1. Uh, the Oilers colorway, but I think it looks super, super clean on this. I believe the black also looks super, super clean where it's like an all black with that purple sort of Nike gel little insert. I think it's a super underrated model and I think it has that versatile ability that the up-tempo has, but again, it kind of like elevates it a little bit. Next up is the Nike Dunk Low Setsuban. So the Setsuban was a dunk low that first released in Asian countries and that had a uh, sort of slow release stateside. The Setsuban is inspired by a Japanese sort of folklore where I think it has to do with uh, like soybeans. But regardless of the inspiration, I think that gives like the dunk an additional boost. I actually gifted this to a close friend of mine for their birthday. It's a super, super clean shoe. Again, I know people are saying the dunk is dead, etc. but these dunks are super, super fire. The materials are cool, the textures, cause it has sort of like a crackled leather on the upper and the suede is fantastic. That little embroidered like Setsuban demon on the back uh, sort of wing of the shoe looks fantastic. I think it is a great pickup. And right now, I believe it's going for, yeah, it's going for 170 on StockX and it released last year. So I think it is a great deal. And if you want a unique pair of dunks instead of your pandas, etc., I think this is a great pickup. Next up is the New Balance 990 V4 for 147. This is the U990 TE4, and this is going for 147 again. Um, this is a very hairy suede upper with that classic navy blue, absolute banger. 990 V4s are known for their stability as well as their comfort in the uh, sort of heel portion and that's the first time that New Balance well not the first time but that's like one of the times when New Balance sort of modernized the 990 because from the 990 V3 to the V4 I feel like the design language definitely changed from a very big bulbous shoe to like a very streamlined shoe and they've been sort of streamlining uh, like ever since. Next up is the Solomon XT6 uh, the style code is L4713650 for $140. Uh, I believe Solomon has had a terrific year um, in terms of style and in terms of like all of the uh, classic shoes and collaborations that they've had. I think that uh, like Solomon in this upcoming year is going to continue and get better. They are probably one of the most durable and rugged shoes out there, especially with the Conti Grip out sold. Yeah. Conti Grip outsole. And this is for the people who are into sneakers but want something different, kind of something off the beaten path where 
not just Nike, not just Jordan, not just Adidas, and they want something. They kind of want to delve into the other brands, essentially. Next up is the Adidas Human Race Samba for 140. Again, uh, the Human Race Samba, uh, the Samba has had a marathon of a year, and I actually think it's one of the shoes of the year, to be honest. The Human Race Samba, the leather was made in collaboration with Echo Leather, which it's different from the Echo Company, but Echo Leather or Eco Leather, it's E C C O. They do an amazing leather dye process uh, where they're able to conserve on water yet having a very very deep color penetration and they have the colors that they use are fantastic this one i believe is the terra cotta one where it has that sort of like pinkish brown look i think it looks fantastic i have a pair for myself as well the quality is really good as well as the laces are all leather as well next up is the air jordan 2 retro low varsity royal for 104 dollars uh, the Varsity Royal Air Jordan 2, I think Air Jordan 2's had a very brief moment in the spotlight, but kind of never really came into fruition. I think this is probably one of the best models. I really like the Air Jordan 2 low. I think it actually looks better than the high, and this Varsity Royal is an amazing color where it kind of breaks up uh, the colors of the shoe really, really well. And personally, just, just think about this, right? Imagine if they just stamped like a fragment logo on it. I think people would be going crazy. So I think this is a shoe that looks extremely, extremely good and clean with that black outsole, but without breaking the bank for $104. Next up is the ACG Mountain Fly 2 low for $105. So the ACG Mountain Fly 2 is one of the best new ACG silhouettes that have come out. Um, it has a very, very unique sole outsole tread that was designed originally by the head of Nike, I believe. He was the head of Nike Global Design. Uh, he designed, uh, in collaboration with Kanye West, the Air Yeezy 2, and a bunch of other models, very, very historic models. The Mountain Fly 2 is a fantastic, fantastic looking shoe, especially if you're into that sort of uh, like technical gear and want that sort of like rugged aesthetic. Next up is the Nike SB Dunk Low Albino and Preto, which is a Dunk Low that just released this year. Uh, it comes with, I believe, five different pairs of laces. This is based off of a, um, a martial arts, I guess, dojo sort of brand where uh, like each one of the laces are supposed to represent a belt. And I think that is such a cool concept uh, as well as the uh, upper fabric is supposed to sort of represent the gi, which I think is what they wear essentially. Or I'm actually not even sure if it's called the gi in terms of like whatever their martial arts is going to be, but essentially their uniform um, and it's a very, very cool shoe. It isn't going for too much for $200. I think it is a cool Nike SB collaboration that has some depth and storytelling to it. Next up is the Dunk Low Medium Curry. So I remember when the Medium Curries first came out, which I remember was 2020 or so, or 2021. Those shoes were going crazy, $300, $400. And then this past year, they retro, or not retro, but they re-released it. And that crashed the market and I love that. The Medium Curry is such a beautiful, minimal clean dunk low the quality of the suede is quite nice as well and it's going for 130 dollars which is essentially retail after tax and shipping so i think it's a fantastic deal again with a lot of these stock x uh, picks you can really just bid low and then just see if um if like somebody will buy because a lot of people are selling sneakers at a loss right now so it's a great great market to be a buyer speaking of something where people are losing money the nike magma scape and sakai collaboration for 157 dollars on stockx this shoe probably didn't even come out a week ago and it's already $50, $60 off of retail. I think that's fantastic. I think the Magma Scape is probably one of the best new Nike silhouettes and models that have released. And I personally really, really like it, but I'm holding off on buying to see how low the price can go. Cause straight off the bat, if it, you know, like even before release, it's 157, like who, man, maybe I can get for like a hundred dollars. But I do think that this is a fantastic shoe for those that are into sort of that high fashion vibe and that also like those sort of hiking aesthetics, especially that blue colorway. I think that blue colorway is beautiful. 
Next up is the Air Jordan 1 Union High collaboration with his wife's brand, uh, like Bethy Beauty Supply on the Air Jordan 1 Footscape. This is another shoe that I think is kind of crazy for the price. The price is about 130 as well. If you were to tell, you know, like Kevin from 2018, 2017 that, you know, uh, like Union Jordan 1s are gonna be going for 130, I would have told them I am crazy and I should buy 30. Because back then Union Jordan 1s were going for, I think I've sold like some extra pairs that I had for 1,600 and it is in, saying that it's going for 130 and I felt it in hand and I do know that that footscape woven sort of shape is a little bit off-putting to people but the quality of the leather is there and it is a neutral gray Jordan 1. It is a super clean neutral gray Jordan 1 with the classic Union touches. I think for 130 this will definitely be a amazing shoe and an amazing deal to have. Next up is the Adidas Handball Special shoes in collaboration with Inter Miami. Uh, this is a pink and black. It's for $110 at West NYC 147. Um, this pair is sold out on Adidas. I love the Special handball model. Uh, they have some amazing colorways out. I really like the white and black and gum color, if I remember cor correctly. The gum color is fantastic, that one. And also it's reselling for some reason, which I don't really understand. But the Special models are always top notch where they always have that special material special concept and that handball is definitely one of the most unsung heroes of the adidas low top catalog their retro uh, sort of like trainer shoes next up is the foot industry adidas gazelle for 150. Uh, this is an adidas japan and asia exclusive they didn't really release stateside but i do think that they have some of the best uh, footwear collaborations in this Q4, especially if you're looking for something super minimal, but also like people, you know, like people aren't going to be wearing this, you know? So I actually have a review coming out of them. So this is one of their gazelles. This is a gazelle short tongue. The leather is fantastic. Same with, this is the gazelle long tongue, kind of reminiscent of that first sporty and rich, but it has that football sort of uh, stitching detail natural leather like leather insole like this is this is insane i got them in japan at a store called great for 120 dollars but the sizes are sort of limited so i'll put multiple links in the description down below if you guys do want to pick up a pair um, keep in mind you are going to have to pay for shipping from asia all the way over here uh, i believe great had them for 53 dollars uh for the shipping price um but it's in my opinion i think they're like some of the best footwear low top adidas released this year based off of quality and last but not least i think this is an interesting pick that i think a lot of people have forgotten the nike tom Sachs general purpose sneaker i know that he has had a bit of controversy this past year with the allegations of misconduct at his studio i think that shouldn't diminish the value that his shoes are especially for the colorways that are there the classic studio colorway is going for about 200 um, the yellow colorway is about 150 170 and the brown colorway you can easily find for under 100 dollars. they are probably one of the most rugged pair of shoes that i can get for a hundred dollars they are a really 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 nicely made outsole and the upper is pretty pretty sturdy in my opinion. So I think they are a great pair of shoes to get as just like a beater pair. Now, last section, and this is the crazier section, I should say, um, it is the splurge. So this is if you're gonna get yourself something and you've been like sort of saving up and you've been good and shit. Um, and this is also a section where if you wanna get a really, really close loved one, something real nice and they're into shoes, this is the section for you. So starting off, it is the Ama Manier Jordan 5 Dawn or Dusk color, depending on what your preference is. Um, both of those are going for about 270, so it isn't breaking the bank totally, but it is still an expensive pair of shoes after shipping and after taxes, etc. Uh, they are a fantastic pair of Jordan 5s. I'm doing a review of them soon for both of them. Um, personally, I think the leather and the upper feeling of the Dons, which is the white pair, the white and blue pair, feel better than the dusk, but the colorway of the dusk is just killer, especially if you put cream laces on there, it just fits fantastic. So both of those, 
um, I think are my first pick for, I guess, the splurge section. Great, great shoes. Uh, probably one of the best Jordans this year. It could be the best. Next up is one that's a little bit different, and this is the 11 by B BBS. Um, it is the gray salmon edition, uh, the Bamba 2 for 272. Um, they also have a gray and a purple version. Uh, this is um, a collaboration between uh, like Solomon and you know like 11 by BBS, which is a high fashion brand. Uh, they do very interesting dyes on their shoes and the Bamba 2 is one of their highlight models of it. So if you want to, and like this is more for like those people who are like into, you know, like really, really into fashion, not really into shoes. If you want to kind of flex your sort of like fashion knowledge, but still want to get them a pair of shoes, this is how to do it. I believe Essence is doing a private sale as well as a public sale. Um, I believe this is a part of the public sale. 272, I believe this is around 50% off of retail and I think it is a fantastic deal. I've had multiple friends who have the Bamba 2 and they all love it and they don't want to get rid of it. So the Bamba 2 is an A1 high fashion sort of silhouette shoe. Next up is also something that is a little bit weird and I did mention this in a previous coffee break which is my monthly recap of cool releases and stuff like that. It is the Itogo uh, sneaker, which I don't even know if I should call it a sneaker, but it's sort of like a sneaker slipper where it is a very raw construction and it is almost like that Japanese sort of knitted shoe sort of look for 254. It's also available on Essence. Uh, fantastic looking conceptual shoe. If you want to venture out of your normal sort of footwear stuff, this is probably the next evolution where you want to play with your style a little bit more. So venturing back over to the sneakerhead sort of side of it, it is the Kith Clark's Adidas 8th Street Samba. So this Samba I think is probably one of the best of the year. Uh, very, very close to number one, if not number one uh, shoe of the year. I think this had an incredible moment where uh, like Ronnie Feig was essentially able to make the best Samba to have been made using the Clark's, you know, like materials and their crap and also having that classic Adidas look and redoing the tooling. I think it looks fantastic in all three colorways. Oddly enough, I actually personally prefer the original uh, tan colorway, the Wallaby colorway uh, versus the, the white and green one. I actually really like the tan one and I think it looks super, super killer and I think it goes with almost anything and I think you can't go wrong. If you get yourself or you get somebody this pair of shoes, I think, I think they'll love you forever basically. Next up is the New Balance 990 V6 Baklava or the Lapis Azuli. Uh, the prices on these are going anywhere between 200 to 350 depending on sizing. I think both of these shoes are fantastic and it really depends on the individual which color that they prefer. Um, the Baklava colorway, obviously super, super loud, crazy, crazy, but it is, it's crazy enough to where it kind of like works together, um, where you can wear a very simple fit, throw those on and you'll be, you know, like everyone's going to be asking about it. While the Lapis Azuli, everything sort of matches and it feels very harmono harmonious. Uh, harmonious on a sneaker where I think that blue and the purple and then that yellowed outsole, that popcorn outsole just fits perfectly and I think that is also a terrific sneaker. And interestingly enough, some sizes are even going under retail uh, so you can even pick up a steel. Next up is one of the best Nike SBs of the year, the Nike SB Yuto Horigome. Uh, the Yuto Horigome is a fantastic sneaker collaboration with a amazing world-renowned athlete. He won the very first World Cup, or not World Cup, he won the very first skateboarding event for the Olympics. Yuto Horigome is a very humble, uh, like sort of skater. He's from Japan, if you couldn't tell, and he has one of the cleanest, cleanest Nike SBs out there. It's, everything just work, works together. It has his family's crest. It has the cherry blossoms on the insole. 
and it's around $300 and in my opinion I think it's probably one of the best. I think it's better than the Haritos uh, Del Glow or the Born and Raised. Next up is the New Balance 990 V6 Carhartt. Uh, prices for this are around $260 depending on the size. Again the 990 V6, the Carhartt shoe has that classic Carhartt brown with a few Carhartt uh, like little logos. I think this is probably on par with a lot of the collaborations that they did with Levi's. I think the shoe looks super super killer and the concept of it being centered around the neighborhood gyms I think is also a very interesting take. Uh, again for those who like runners and this is like this is your jam where the 990 V6 has that retro runner look but with the modern technology in it. Next up is the Travis Scott Air Max 1 Wheat. So interestingly enough, uh, this is going for 270. This originally was slated to be a friends and family only and it only released on his website. But what I think happened is that it was supposed to be exclusive to their website and then they backdoored like 90% of the stock because on GOAT's Black Friday, they had thousands and thousands of pairs of the wheat, which hadn't had a real public uh, release before. The only two pairs that released were the Baroque Brown and um, that Saturn Gold colorway. While the Wheat one, people were saying was friends and family and thousands of pairs were released at GOAT during their Black Friday. So I wasn't sure whether or not it was Travis Scott's team backdooring like thousands of pairs, which I, which I honestly kind of believe uh, because they had a small raffle uh, when the Air Max one first dropped and I've only seen like maybe 20 people win um, in the entirety of the internet and this Black Friday from Go, I've seen easily a few hundred and that's only the people that post, right? So the Air Max One Travis Scott for 270, I think it's a great deal. I think personally the wheat colorway is the strongest colorway of all three of them. The Baroque Brown, I think it looks cool too. I've had it in hand, but I do think that the wheat is the strongest colorway for 270. I think it's a great deal. Next up is the Yeezy Boost 700 V2 Static. So this is one of the classic Yeezy shoes that I've re-released I think three times. Um, there are rumors that it'll re-release next year, but right now it's already going underneath retail for around 280, 290. So I don't think you'll really find a better deal than where it's currently at right now. Uh, again, you can buy it secondhand, but I think this is a very clean silhouette. Easily one of the most comfortable Yeezy V2s out there. Or, just Yeezys in general, where uh, the 350s, um, they're comfortable on the sole, but the upper is a bit too tight. The 700 V2 is definitely wide foot friendly and is very comfortable, very pillowy, even more comfortable than the V1 because they softened up the foam on the sole. I think this is a great pickup for those that want a cl classic shoe, but a little bit of that retro super like sort of vibe where it's kind of futuristic but also has that heritage vibe. Next up is the Para Air Max 1 Waves. Uh, this is classic, cla like I think this is definitely one of the best Air Max 1 collaborations to come out in the past five years. Historic shoe, historic silhouette and the Pada Waves, they added essentially the upper mud guard where it has that sort of wave pattern and also they fix the shape where it slopes down very perfectly and they still haven't been able to replicate that sort of shape on any of the newer Air Max ones that have come out. They're all very boxy at the toe. The Padas were the only ones to really do it like the OGs did it. Next up is the Nike SB Dunk Low Ramalzi Supreme. Uh, you can get the Dunk Low for around three 300 to 360 depending on your size as well as you're able to get the dunk high for under 200 Personally, you're hearing it from me I think the dunk high is better than the dunk low in terms of color in terms of look I think it also works with the canvas of the artwork much better But the low is a lot easier to wear for obvious reasons the low are going for a little bit more But I think both pairs are a one and I think the best Nike SB collaboration that Supreme has in the past few years as well because their past ones I wasn't a big fan of the stars or the leopard print or like the jeweled swoosh all of those were kind of passes for me but for this one 
I've picked up the highs and I'm really considering picking up the lows. Last but not least, it is the Cortez Air Max 95 for around 600. It's crazy that the prices of these have sort of skyrocketed. I remember them right after drop, them being around 300, but they've easily become 600, and a lot of people putting this on their sneaker of the year. Uh, I think all three colorways are killer. The pink beam one is amazing. Uh, that blue one is great. I do like the green sort of army looking one, but I definitely think the pink and the blue are the standout pairs of this essentially collection. So yeah, like let me know what you guys think of these deals. Again, links are going to be in the description down below. Uh, like let me know if you guys have picked anything up. I tried to include things on the list that have multiple size ranges instead of being that weird dude that's like, oh, I'm going to pick this cool shoe and there's only like a size four left. Like no, uh, most of these have at least like four or five sizes available. Um, so Link in the description. Again, not sponsored at all, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys like more content like this, please do subscribe. Um, I will upload one to two videos a week, and I'm trying to keep that schedule going. So anyways, happy holidays. Hope you guys are doing well, and hope you guys are spending some time with your family and friends. So I will talk to you guys later. Peace.